Hello guys and welcome back to the Teacher Made channel where everything is made by a teacher. If you are new here, my name is Shannon. I am a special education teacher working on my master's in clinical mental health and rehabilitation counseling. If you are new here, please go ahead and click that like button. Also subscribe to this channel and please, please, please drop down below in the description box if you are a parent parenting a child with disabilities. There are a lot of available resources on there, free resources pay resources and just anything to help you make your life a little bit simpler. But today we are going to continue our talk on the teacher hustle series about how to start your tutoring business if you want to start one or if you have already started one you're trying to figure out how to get more clients to your tutoring program or you just want to continue that momentum of just skyrocketing your program. So today we're going to talk about the different types of delivery methods of how to run your tutoring program. So I'm just gonna talk about three different types of way of you can run your tutoring sessions. And these are the ones that work best for me. So the first one is of course, individual tutoring. Um, if you like to work one-on-one -on -one with a child or an adult, you can do individual tutoring. And what I like about individual tutoring is, is because it's hands-on. All the other ones are, um, well, except for that last one, it's not hands-on. But the second one I'm gonna talk about, it is hands-on too. But what I like about individual tutor is that you can just laser focus on that one client and there are any other people there with that client while you are tutoring them. Uh, you can track their data, really kind of get you know down to what they really need help with which is what you should be doing anyway but i just find that tutoring individually helps out a lot because it cuts down on a lot of distractions um the second one i'm going to talk about is group tutoring and group tutoring tutoring is good is because um like I said, if you have, you've been charging where you don't have to work anymore, if you charge it so high enough, that means it, it kind of kills two bird stones in one because you have so many people in the tutoring group where you can manage it, but also the clients can learn in that group. So say you have about, uh, let's just say three to five clients in that group that you were tutoring for that one hour, you can probably charge about 50, $50 to $100 a head just because you are in a group and because it's also cutting down on the time. Um, I wish I had tried more of that method, but it's kind of hard to do when you have different schedules for different clients. I did mostly the individual and the last one I'm going to talk about, but group tutoring is good because you can allow them to work in groups, <laughs> hence the word group tutoring you can allow them to work in groups but also if you are charging at a good rate you are cutting down on your time because we all know that time is something that is not promised not given to us and time is not on our side and if you anybody who knows who's running a service based business is that we don't have time that's why you try to make sure you put your business on autopilot i autopilot per se, or passive income, because you are using your time to help somebody, which is nothing's wrong with it, but if you wanna to get to the point where you don't wanna exchange your time for money, then this is kinda of a step in the right direction because like I said, you have maybe three to eight people in a group and you're charging each person individually instead of just charging as a whole entire group. So that's what I like about group tutoring and because they get to work in groups and help one another while you are instructing the group, whatever subject that you are working on. And the next one, because of the pandemic, um, obviously it's online delivery. Uh, a lot of people, companies are, have already been doing online, but a lot of tutors switch their clients to online. I was one of them because of the pandemic. It hit, you know, last year in March and I was just in the process of moving my clients to online, but I ended up, you know, going off in another direction, but that's a video for a whole nother story. And tutoring online is so great because for one, you're cutting down on the gas. You don't have to travel to the person's house. Two, you don't have to, um, deal with that person 
there's no face-to-face -face interaction unless you're looking at them through the computer screen but you know what i mean there's no face-to-face -face action as far as them sitting right next to you and if you are worried about um covid and being sick or just even if it wasn't for covid uh tutor online is great because it allows them like i said it cuts down on the time of gas like i don't have to because the problem i had was i had to go from here to there to there trying to get to the next tutoring session and if i just when i was in the process of moving them to online that cuts down on the gas so that had nothing to do with covid it was just it cuts down the time so to from going from individual to grouping charging more and then cutting down the time and then when you do it online you can also do group tutoring too so when you're online you can have as many as many people as you want in that group so you can probably have like a class size of like 20 people in that group honestly and then charge wherever from 20 all the way up to 2000 um a lot of people sell courses online that's like over a thousand dollars but like i said charge as much as you want and that goes back to my other video somewhere up here or down there about how your prices determine your clientele please 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 make sure you watch that video um because you don't want to make the same mistake i did but like i said back to online like i said it cuts down on gas if you are a introverted person then you don't want to see the person then you can do online and that works best and then some people they just like online they're really good with computers and there are a lot of cool resources online i'm going to do a later video on that about some tools and resources that you can use i just did another video about that but i'm going to get more in depth about what websites i had used for tutoring my clients and mostly i had elementary age students if you are tutoring adults i probably might put that in that video or i'll probably do a separate video so guys that is just a quick this is just a quick video about the methods that you can use to deliver instruction so one individual work one-on-one -on -one with a person work one-on-one -on -one with your client two you can put them in groups and you're cutting down on the time and charging as much as you like or three you can charge even more and just turn it to an online tutoring business um because it saves gas i mean who doesn't want to save gas it's saving gas you're saving time and then you can add as many people as you like in that group and charge as high as you want please make sure that you know your worth before charging and make sure that you know the content that you are teaching if you like this video go ahead and click that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you